Yo, <laughs> man, I, you know, with this stream yard, I mean, there's so much that you can do with this stream yard. And there's so many tutorials about how to use stream yard to its maximum potential. But if you incorporate outside sources along with StreamYard, you can make for an enjoyable uh experience an enjoyable an enjoyable live stream experience and you can record as well you know what i'm saying you don't even have to like record like i used to i used to record it on my hard drive, but I'm recording through here and it's actually being saved in the cloud. Then after I get finished, I just download it, put it into my program, chop it up and uh, bring it out to you guys like I'm, like I'm doing right now. Man, well, I just wanted to come back and uh let you guys know how my day went so before we get into it we about to start the show all you have to do is stay a minute just take your time the clock is ticking so stay all you have to do is stay yes sir lockout man back again for another podcast with you guys this evening welcome back to the lockout man podcast show i am your humble host lockout man that is what's up what's going on with y'all i wish i had the hand claps but unfortunately i don't uh man if you like content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that all button that all button lets you know when I go live, and that all button lets you know when I drop videos. You know what I'm saying? Let YouTube know that you're messing with me. And obviously, you guys is doing a good job at that because the Lockout Man podcast channel has had a 50% jump in viewership. So thank you. Thank you very much for that. You know what I'm saying? Um and if you want to donate to the channel and you want to support your boy, you can do that in many ways. You can now join the channel for, I mean, with the membership. Brother man could get coffee every month. I appreciate it. Yo, there's three tiers to that. There's the coffee tier, breakfast, lunch tier, lunch, and dinner. You guys go in here and choose which one y'all want to hook me up with. And I really do appreciate it. Look, if... I touch one of you guys' lives and 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 it changes it, then my job is done. All right. So let's get into today's podcast right quick. Today's podcast brought to you by Trucker's Path. Yes, sir. Trucker's Path. It is the only trucker's tool that you would ever need. If you're looking for a low trucker's path, if you're looking for a truck. Uh, truck navigation, trucker's path. If you need to know which one of these trucking spots have parking, trucker's path. Guess what? Guess what you need to get? Yes, uh, make sure you get trucker's path. And also, get the Ridge Wallet. I'm just saying. Just saying. Well, trucker's path is uh, sponsored. Ridge Wallet is not. So let's get into it, man. So, Today, I, I I set up all of my interviews, my upcoming interviews for next month, and it's almost filled. It's it's almost filled. I mean, I I pretty much got the got the month got the month filled up. I got a whole bunch of interesting people that's coming on. I only have uh, I only have a few more spots left. I only have a few more spots left. A few more spots left. So if you guys is interested in coming in and chopping it up with the Lockout Men on the Lockout Men podcast show, get at me, and uh, we'll get you in one of these spots, man. 
Um, so today, man, my my day, my day went pretty cool. You know, the, the day turned out turned out messed up a little bit because I was able to get to my delivery this morning, dropped it off, but unfortunately, I couldn't do I couldn't make my pickup that was supposed to be taking me back up to Illinois. And then from Illinois, I would have been got I would have got home sometime tomorrow. But I'm picking up a load that pits up at two o'clock tomorrow evening. And of course I got uh I got the eight o'clock show. I got the eight o'clock show. So I'm not sure how all of that's gonna work out because once I get loaded, once I get loaded and everything, it's gonna take me about eight hours at least to get up to Ohio. So I'm not even sure if tomorrow's show is gonna go. You know, I probably might have to move it until Saturday. I I guess. I, I don't know. I just gotta figure it out tomorrow. But the reason why the the the, the reason why you know things don't go according to plan is because this is trucking it don't not nothing goes by the rules nothing goes according to plan and it's just all messed up the, the shipper can mess it up the receiver can mess it up and it's just you know you just can't really put a finger on on any type of situation in trucking because that's what it is it's trucking you know this is an industry that really don't have a, 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 a rule base. You know, your, your sleep pattern could be different. You, you, you don't have nowhere to park. You, you, you got a bird bath in a truck. It's, it's, it is what it is, you know? So I talked about, uh, I talked about, the biggest problem that we have in trucking, especially for new drivers. I, I, I talked about one of the issues with one of my interviewees, uh, Trucker Doc. So definitely, definitely go check him out. Check out our interview, which is up right now. And you'll see what, what one of the uh, issues uh, that new drivers, I think new drivers have when they come into this industry. Another issue that new drivers face when they come up in this industry is the way the company treats you guys. And what I mean by that is the way they kind of cipher money from you. Don't that make sense? How they cipher money from you a lot of you guys don't know how this trucking game works so let me put a bug in your ear right quick you're running zip code to zip code with about 80 percent of the trucking companies out here if you come out here if you're a new jack out here nine times out of ten you're going to get with a major carrier and the way the major carrier sips money from you, they sip it from you by zip code to zip code. In other words, they call it home good miles. You know what I'm saying? Look that up. Home good miles. Zip code to zip code. Do they pay practical miles? Do they pay zip code to zip code? Find out how they how you getting paid when you get out here. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be running. You're going to get some miles. You, you're going to get a run that's going to be like a thousand miles. But when you type it in your Ram at Nally or you bring it up on your, on your GPS, it's 1,200 miles. A, uh, you know, I put this information into the um, into the uh, GPS, and the same information in the Qualcomm too. Uh, 
it's twelve hundred and some change. Uh, why why I'm not getting the, in, the entire miles? See, that's something that the fleet managers can't explain. Well, they some of them might can explain it, but when I was the, when I started, they couldn't explain that because they would tell me, "Oh, you you getting all your miles?" But I'm not though. I'm not getting all my miles. I'm only you. You got me clocked in at a thousand miles, but I'm seeing that it's twelve hundred and some change to get there. Now you figure if you do, and I'm just saying this on average because your miles change throughout the day. But if you get twelve hundred miles a day or twelve hundred miles for every load, and you only getting a thousand miles and let's say you did four loads that's two four six eight hundred miles that you're not getting paid for let that sink in for a minute let it sink in for a minute 200 miles or 1200 a thousand miles for a 1200 mile run and you're not getting paid the 200 and some change. Check that. You do you on average it's like it's like 3000 miles. So let's roll that down. Within a week. You're supposed to get 2400 miles for for that week, right? But you're only getting paid 2000. That's messing with your money, bro. That's money that you can't even get back. That's money that's going into the conglomerate's pockets. Let that sink in. That's not going into your pocket. That's going into the conglomerate pocket. And they can justify that. And they find ways to justify getting over on a driver. Now, you're going to say to yourself, like, yo, uh you're gonna you you're gonna you're gonna say to yourself like yo man y'all robbing me y'all raping me yo i'm about to quit i'm about to get up i'm about to quit but don't quit don't it, it's gonna frustrate you in a minute and i'm about to tell you why why you shouldn't quit you shouldn't quit you shouldn't quit up under duress you shouldn't quit with i mean up under uh up under emotion because emotions, take my word for it, emotions get you fucked up in the worst kind of way. Something, you you do something out of emotion, and then when you come down off that high and you realize what the fuck you did, you're going to regret it. So just hold up. Don't quit while you're mad. Just wait. You're going to quit. You're just not going to quit today. Maybe a month from now, maybe two months from now, maybe a year from now, but not today. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. But what you do want to do, what you do want to know is how are you getting paid? How am I getting paid? You know, am I getting paid all the miles that I'm running or am I getting paid home good miles that you guys is sipping me out of? How are you coping with that? Because, again, back to what I was talking about in Trucker Dots. Uh, in, I mean, uh, when we was talking, that's going to be on your clock. You know your 70 hour is your actual drive time. A lot of you guys don't even know that. Y'all just think that the 11 hour is your drive time. No. The 70 hour is your drive time. Because if you waste the neck, it ain't no you 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 doing a disservice to yourself. You 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 just you just you just is you doing a disservice to yourself. And you look at it like, yo, man, I, I don't want to do a disservice to myself. You come out here, you get your CDL, you pay all that money, you want to come out here, you want to run. You don't want to pussyfoot around. You want to run. 
And you got companies that's that's watering you down. Again, they're going to give you like short hops. Oh, well, if you do this for me today, tomorrow I'll get you a longer load. Uh, I try to find a longer load for you, but unfortunately, there's nothing out there. So I got to give you this short hop. 300 miles for my 11 for my 11 hour clock. Come on now. I'm not making no money. I'm not making no money. We got to do something to change that. I know I'm brand new. I may not know nothing about no nothing about no nothing. But I know for a fact that if I'm doing 300 miles in 11 hours, something's wrong. Something's not right. But wait a minute, though. Is there a kickback? Find out about that. Is there a kickback? Is you gonna get? Is you gonna get an extra hundred or two on top of the three hundred miles that you're running? Because again, you're not making no money, and you're out here sacrificing your life, your livelihood, and yourself. For no money. Think about it. Let let all what I just said sink in. You're doing a disservice to yourself if, if, if you're not finding out how you're getting paid. Not finding out how much you're getting paid. Of that. Why? Ask questions. And if... Your fleet manager, driver manager, co-manager, dispatcher can't give you the answers, then go over their heads and find out why I'm not getting all of my miles. Why I'm not getting paid practical miles. Well, we can only give you zip code to zip code. No, I put in address to address. Y'all can use Google. Google Google gives you two two routes. Y'all pick the cheapest one. The worst time to talk about your miles and your pay is when you get paid. <laughs> That's funny, right? You you already got your check and you over here saying, yo, what's up with my miles? That was last week. It's something new. So don't talk about the stuff when you get paid. You talk about it right then and there when you see the inconsistencies. And you're going to see a lot of inconsistencies in trucking. Find out what your pay is and what you're getting paid now. Not later. Not then, now. Find out how you're getting paid. And I think that's uh I, I think that's one of the reasons that when trucking, I mean when 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 new people come into trucking, that's one of the re that's one of the biggest problems that new drivers have. How am I getting paid? So with that said, you know, you guys figure out how y'all getting paid and uh, apply it to whatever company that you go to, especially if you're coming out, if you're new to coming out here, if you're new to trucking and you're coming out here, apply all of that. What I just said, man, hopefully you guys find this uh, information valuable. Hopefully you guys find that it's is worth something. If so, leave a like. You know what I'm saying? Share it. You know, somebody else might want to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, before I get up out of here, I want to say a shout out to Harris Casino here in Kansas City, Missouri. Walked up in there, played some poker, and got lucky. I was able to come out victorious. On that note, y'all, if y'all like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button. 
because that all button lets YouTube knows that you want the content. Not later, not then. You want it now. You know what I'm saying? Hook a brother up with some coffee. You know what I'm saying? You can donate to the channel many kinds of ways. There's the new join button next to the subscribe button. Three tiers, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Hook a brother up. You know what I'm saying? If I'm bringing you something of value and only one of you guys get it, I've done my job. If you want to hook me up the old-fashioned way, the cash app, the uh, coffee app is in the description below. Until next time, everybody, you guys take it easy. I hope this podcast and this little bit of little bit of information helps you guys out. Uh, this little bit of information helps you guys out. And until next time, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for listening. This is Lockout Men for the Lockout Men podcast. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace. All you have to do is